Additional lighting in your off-road build is a must-have. I'm going to show you the easiest way to be able to wire up a whole bunch of lights safely and cleanly. You can't get lights like this, like that, on your truck, your side-by-side, -side, your SUV, your Jeep, any of that, and just wire them up to a bunch of random switches and relays that come with this stuff. It doesn't look good, it's not clean, and it's more prone to failure. Not only that, it's a lot harder to install. If you're gonna add lighting to really any vehicle, do it right, add a switch panel, it's gonna save you a lot of headaches, and it's gonna look and function way better. I'm sure you all have that one buddy, or a few buddies, that are terrible at wiring. I can totally wire that up for you, dude. And if you can't think of any, it might be you. Nice. Using a switch panel is so much easier and better than wiring up individual switches and relays, finding places to mount all those things, different buttons and colors and everything everywhere. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna link everything that I use and I'll show you the end result, which I'm super, super happy with. Now, I've already installed the Oxbeam 6 gang switch panel, so you're gonna see the world's fastest time-lapse install of that. Find a place in the engine bay to mount it. Run your power, run your ground, run your accessory cable. Find a place to mount the switch panel inside. Run the switch panel wire from the inside of the vehicle to the new fuse box, and you're done. Wiring up all the lights from there is super, super easy. These are the SS3 pods I went with Amber just because I think Amber looks cool. So we're gonna get these mounted, wired up, add our sticker to the appropriate switch on the Oxbeam switch panel. Shouldn't be too hard. Then we'll see how bright these are and how they work in conjunction with the LED light bar, the built headlights, all that good stuff. I think it's going to light up the night really, really well. So I'm gonna mark out the hood hinges here. That way when I loosen them and then tighten them back down with the brackets on, they're back in position exactly where they were. Put alignment looks good. Time for the driver's side. The hood is grounded. That makes that easy. Both lights mounted up. However, I don't like how long these bottom bolts are. So they just stick out there. I'm gonna take those off quick, put them on the bandsaw, just shorten them up just a hair to look a little cleaner. Much, much better. Something that's really nice about these lights is they come with a whole wiring harness, the nice relay setup and everything, but I don't need that. So instead of having to hack that up, they send two additional plugs weather sealed for the back of the pods, wire them up however you want, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Got some heat shrink cable, some wire loom, a bunch of new wire. Let the fun begin. Crispy, yeah that boy pressed me. Had the tongue gleaming, yeah I know they can't miss me. See a boy a mile away, my kicks is really head tink. Looking like that meme, then them boys really spit tink. I just put an ISO logo on a damn sweater vest. I got little money watching how I got both grounds done, pretty simple. Just runs to the bottom bolt underneath. Now I have to figure out the power wires because I need to run that one over to this one, connect them both and run it up to the fuse panel. So that is next on the agenda. Wanna do it spot up or dribble shooting? Drip on point, peep the execution. On a higher resolution, now you gotta see me through. Now you gotta see us on it. I don't even gotta flaunt it. I'ma put us all up on it. Got the cable pulled all the way through the way bottom section of the hood. That way there's no wires hanging out down here. You only see them right there at the hinge, both sides. Pretty happy with that. Never be a last chance, cause we really run this. Yeah, we start studied. You gotta up the budget. We too cold blooded. Better make adjustments. I'm a walking bucket. I'm crispy. Yeah, that boy pressed me. Had the tongue gleaming. Yeah, I know they can't miss me. See a boy a mile away. My kicks is really head tink. Looking like that meme. Then them boys really spit tink. I just put an ISO logo on a damn sweater vest. I got little money watching power. Give us our respect. Damn, I be so fresh. And them boys be so clean too. Had them looking mad hard. Damn, I didn't mean to. Yeah. Okay, they're finished. Let's go over some wiring for you guys. Just a quick rundown of how I ran everything. Pretty good for ditch lights. Ditch lights are kind of in an awkward spot and you're always gonna see some kind of wiring. So here we have the fuse panel. See that is my light bar wire there. Here's the wire for the ditch lights. Jersey back on. 
So from there, that wire goes underneath, then travels over here between the fender and the battery. I actually have it going inside the fender, down in there, and then it pops out back in there. That's gonna be hard to show, basically back in there. Then it runs up, zip tied to the hood hinge here, and that's where it splits to the other ditch light. And then it comes out and feeds this ditch light. Both lights are grounded at that bolt down there. See on this side, she pops out there, runs along the bracket, same ground, and then to the light. Still gotta tighten up the actual lights themselves. I have them loose because I'm not sure how I'm gonna aim them yet. There, my wire comes out the back, run underneath. Not a whole lot you can do with that. Obviously, you're gonna see these wires no matter what, but there they go, down there, good to go. Now it's just time to test them out and make sure they work. Ditch lights, nice. They work. Both work. Excellent. I'm glad I went with the amber, that looks good. They actually might be aimed pretty decent. I'm gonna have to take them outside, see how I want them adjusted, and tighten them down and they're done. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta put the appropriate sticker on the switch panel. Now, which one? to choose light cubes or windshield lights or amber fog lights front man there's there's so many let's go with windshield lights that makes the most sense two filled four to go so similar to last time so there's going to be no lights on just parking lights ditch lights Light bar, low beam, high beam. So now I definitely see why people buy ditch lights. I have a curved light bar, so it actually emits a little more light to the side, but it doesn't hit the side at all like these ditch lights do. And I could aim those things way more to the left and right beside the vehicle. I got them all tightened up, aimed, adjusted, good to go. Real happy with this selection. Not the most expensive ditch lights out there, but they're a quality kit. Everything is powder coated or coated and comes with stainless steel hardware. The mounts are really nice. The light's really nice. The wiring harness is really nice. I'm really happy. So I've got that six position switch. I still have four more switches open. What do you guys think I should add? Comment below ideas for the next set of lights or other electronic mods that I should add. I don't want all these switches to go unused and wasted. Curious to hear your ideas, boys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.